Alright, welcome everyone, back to Yakuza 0. Last time, me and Majima did many great things. I don't remember exactly what, but we did many great things. Are you giving me pocket tissues? Thank you. That's another person giving pocket tissues. Oh. Glad I'm doing this. The fuck is that? Ah, Majima's apartment, okay. Right, last episode we helped out the shopkeeper over here, I believe? No. No, where was it? Uh oh. There, over there, yeah. And nothing else, really. I just kind of came over here to save. Yeah, okay, so let's get back on it then. Flustered young woman. Hmm. What am I going to do? Oh, what to do? You! Excuse me? Huh? Oh. Uh, um, well, the thing is, you want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Y yes, I, I'm trying to say is, uh, um, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can't take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend? Uh huh. Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please, pretty please. What? Just just like that? Y your boyfriend? You mean like... You want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what, a, that's what a boyfriend does. You'd be my one and only. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't like where this is going already. <laughs> boy, boy, boyfriend. Right. Okay. Back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this lady, little lady here? Just run up to me on the street and demanding that I be her man. Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer, like... Don't even think you won, little lady. I got no interest in the woman! Alright. I like your style, girl. I'll take that as a proposal of marriage, and I accept. Let's set a date. Whoa! No, who's moving too fast? I would rather keep things at the boyfriend level, thank you very much. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I was already picking out the wedding colors in my head. <laughs> Damn, girl. Oh, darn it. I've left out a few Tito's, haven't I? I should clarify. I guess I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend. Not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend. Hi. Yes, you see, my father is visiting from back home and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I just told him that my, my boyfriend is Finn, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him. Kind of like Blade of an Eye. Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I would have to introduce him to my father, so I kind of made it up as I went. Then, but then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worth you marrying you. And so here I am. And I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like you're, uh, like I'm your man in front of your dad. Whoa, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else uh, looks like you, uh, anything like you. Uh, could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Uh, alright, sure. The girl's in the pickle, alright. Who would want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him? Fine, you painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is Koko. Please call me Koko-chan. Oh, and sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? 
We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I know it's, ju it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. <sighs> if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already. And that's... Uh, what's this about? Going... Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to uh, to the restaurant where we'll meet, uh, we'll meet with my dad over dinner, the three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Koko-chan. Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go. Why don't you? Bing, bang, boom. Oh no, that won't work at all. That won't be really short unless I show him what kind of man, of, man of my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Koro-chan. Get a move on. <sighs> I don't know what I was expecting, but here we are. Here we are. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? So, Koro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it, but what's all this about making him angry? You got your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. He seems to think I'm not, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed and he babies me more than he should. But then if at all, he's, a good, he's as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, you blow his lid and be like, Forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problem. So, let's go on my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who, looks, uh, who likes going out and drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Dentist, likes to go on drives, likes your own motor rice. Well, yeah, I ain't exactly making this some walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months, you're a dentist, you like going out on drives and watching movies, and you love the omelette rice I make, okay? Six months, dentist, drives and watching movies, omelette rice. Ah, I'll give it my best shot. There he is! Dad! Oh yeah! <clears throat> mm. So, this is Coco Chan's dad. Like his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Coco Chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing, Koro Majima san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. I guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No, dif no different than at the, at the Grand, right? The first impression is key. What do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majim. I'm delighted to meet you, father. Please make my miso soup every May. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majimakun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Uh, oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoa san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You, you seem different, Majima kun. That's right, Dad. Got a chance, not like those stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Whew, playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter does describe you as a man who is tall, has slender waist, and sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura not unli unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See that? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another fragment of your overreactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Uh -huh. Overreactive? 
overactive imagination. Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> well, they do seem to be good on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Oh, yes, much of a good one. Kokoa may have mentioned already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh, man. I think Kokoa mentioned that in the backstory she gave me. I'm a cabaret, I'm a Yakuza. <laughs> I'm a dentist. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. I heard you're a dentist. I know I would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be all. To be frank. Uh, I get that old. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad, you're being so rude to my Koro-chan. Phew, I'm just glad I remember what Koro-chan told me in, in, the, in, in that hack job of the backstory. Incidentally, Majibakun. Yes? I was wondering, how, how do you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, well, that's, um... I didn't ask you, I asked Majibakun. But, but... Tell me, Majibakun, how did you get to know each other? What the... He's prying, he's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? You gotta explain how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him more suspicious. Oh, Bakemita is playing in the background. Uh, do do do. I mean, sorry. She's to stop me in the street. We sat next to each other at the movie. Coco Chan ran into me while eating toast. <laughs> we happened to sit next to each other at the movie theater. That's how we met. At a movie? Come to think of it, Coco did mention that she enjoyed movies. Yes. Like I said, Kokoro-chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Koro-chan. I can't believe you came up with such a... I mean, I remember, it, remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. Well, what a fortuitous meeting, then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any place she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Koro-chan is a proper and decent man. There, I'm, I wove in Coco, uh, Coco Chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Mojimokun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kokoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you or treat you well, why? I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, I... uh... That's why I need to ask, Majimokun. What about Kokoa? Do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I thought Kokoa would not go along with this. You gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. I guess. I fell in love with how great the omelette rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majimakun, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelette rice that you want, you could just in as easily marry a cook. Oops. Dad. Damn it. Tapping into Kokoa's chat, fuck story backfired. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in, don't fall in. Wait a sec. With her powdering her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn, awkward. Majima-kun. Hmm, yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Huh? Her lie? Well, what lie? I had no idea what you mean. What like? <laughs> <laughs> you can stop pretending. I know this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell just by the way my my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years or nothing. Then why did you get along with this dumb charade for so long? Because I was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried a stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates of all the suitors I arranged for her. You know your daughter well, 
You're so right through her. I lost my wife and Kako was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to, set, to meet me. And I thought this might be mm, good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. <laughs> It still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco Chan pulled the stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah, pr pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle. Of, uh, she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wants to show you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wants to prove to you she can manage her own affairs, like getting married. Mm. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Koko chan So, listen, your dad actually knew. Majimokun. Yes? Koko? You've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad? <laughs> I know, right? Koko chan's a super guy. So this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes, I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Oh, sweet. Koro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Koro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. Heh, <laughs> I'm gl glad to hear it. I want to give you this. Thank you. You got five pieces of ori. Without the case, I think I'm free from dad hunting me to meet his suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad to his ah. hotel. Yup. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. I'll try. Bye now. Kokoa, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Something's wrong. Majimakun, there's one last thing I need to say. Uh -huh. What's that? Majimakun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to my boy be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to pass ya. Don't give me too much. No, no. Not at all. That's why... I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Uh, excuse me. What did you say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think you can safely entrust her future to you. Whoa, slow down. I'm having a trouble believing my ears. You can start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say that uh, what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. <sighs> this is why I'm single. <laughs> This is why I'm single. Where am I? Okay. Not horribly far away. Uh, let's go stop by our dude, because he has something for us. You're back? Is that little girl standing all by herself again? What she's got her eye on this time? <laughs> Which one is it now? Ah! Ah! Wait. Ah! Wait. I don't know. Daddy? <laughs> oh god. You scared me. <laughs> you really got an eye for these dolls, don't you? It's just... The pink punch looks pretty pretty. 
pretty or not, I didn't tell you how dangerous this. Didn't I tell you how dangerous this area can get? You're not looking for trouble, are you? No, I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> Here we go again. A pink bunchan, huh? I'll see if I can get her one. <sighs> what a what hot majima does for children. That looks pink. Uh, they're gonna be here for a while, because this one is really hard, it's gonna be hard to get. I was... Am I... Am I good, or am I good? Tell me. Am I good, or am I good? Easy. I... Don't do enough to worry. I got what she wanted. I got what she wanted. She can go home now. Hey, what? You still staring at that bunch of doll? Huh? Yeah, I yeah. am. I have one of those pink bunch of dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. <laughs> Here you go. A bunchy little bunch of. You handed over the bunch of the jaw, the Java sparrow. Pink. Wow! A real pink bunchin! Thank you so much! Say, how come you like dolls so much? Oh, I'm just so alone when I'm home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. That's why dolls are the best. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. No, Punchin gets to join the family! Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm going to take such good care of him. Yeah, yeah. Now, off you go. Back to your mom. Okay, bye-bye! Maybe now the tea party is complete. No reason for it to hang around here anymore, I hope. What's up? Once you become more familiar with weapons, Majima-san, I will teach you new ways to wield them. Yeah. And that really gonna be necessary? Ain't gonna be a genius to work out which way is the pointy end. <laughs> Consider it my part of a service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtained from me untapped. Huh? I'm just saying, got my own way of doing things. Hey, if you'll go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. I would also recommend that you work at honing your bat skills. There is a wealth of hidden potential there. You think so? I don't know. I kind of think that bat meets head was pretty much the extent of it. No, you have much to learn. By my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even swordplay if you develop it. More deadly than swordplay? You serious? Quite. The bat and the katana are... I like in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them to heighten their focus. But consider, as another class of weapon, the bat's weight, resting at a far tip, yields exceptional destructive power, making it distinctly different from a blade. <sighs> yeah, they're open to two different things, but the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with a bat that simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you walk on uncovering these. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat. If you ask me, you just whack people with them. This is truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat finding skills in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor yeah. type. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. Well, what is that? When you teach me new weapon moves, how about you take me, uh, take, uh, take me on with that weapon? I'll fight back with a bat. Mm. Mm, it would be difficult for you to pick up on new techniques that way, I fear. I believe it is better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. What? You gonna you gonna make me a pro bowler? Just uh, st a pro bowler start by pl playing catch? We ain't exactly amateurs here. I would rather get a feel for a weapon naturally in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited for you. <laughs> I, I I've been looking forward to going another round with you. Anyway, <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> uh, huh? Perhaps that is your true motive. Well, I will be here when you are ready to continue your training. Okay. You haven't traded off with your pet yet, Majima-san. I look forward to seeing the results. Yes, thank you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> what now? Huh? What the? 
it's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. <laughs> What's the matter, scamp? Huh? What? What is this? The doll I gave you gave you got all messed up. Who did this? I want names. My mom. My mom. My mom's gonna get killed. What? The scary man got to take money showed up, but this time they took her away, and they did this to your doll. And they did this to your doll, huh? Do you have any do you have any idea where they took your mom? Down down by the river, I think. Alright. Come kiddo. We gotta we gotta bust the move. Hmm. Assholes. Stop it! I already paid you back everything you borrowed! Huh? Well, what are you talking about, you dozy cow? We, we lent you a million yen, remember? But, but I paid all back. Uh, I paid it all back by two, by the due date. Are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay, and when, and we want it back now. 13 million? I could never. Yeah. Well, I guess you leave us no choice then. You're young enough still. Should uh, should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. No. And I know plenty of sickos who'd pay top dollar for the little kitty cut. What? You can't. Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got it? Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty nice, <laughs> uh, pretty price too. Probably bring in more than you. <laughs> Leave her alone, my daughter. She's. She's the only family I've left. Please, at least spare her. Please. Hey, get her out of here. The kid, the kid will be out in, in front of that arcade like usual. I'll, I'll go scoop her up. Gotcha. Oh, no need for that. Oh. Huh? Huh? And who are you? You ain't here to give a slip about the way we do business, are ya? Mm hmm? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scam, huh? <clears throat> da, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Huh? huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of effort to get a hold of. And fuckwits who pray in defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both of those bills, asshole. Huh? What? Your motherfucker! Huh? <laughs> you gotta screw loose, you skinny runt. Because you're begging to get your neck broke. <laughs> Shut your mouth and put your fist so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. Come here. You are dead. Mm. <laughs> Got a little bit. <laughs> uh. Hey, I ain't done with it yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as uh, as you tore up that poor doll. Uh. Uh. Uh, Percy! Ah, oh, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy! Hey, you're right. Huh? Dad? <laughs> yeah, this is the man who bought me all those dolls, mommy. I call him daddy. Oh, so that was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. Um, I don't suppose I could ask your name. Sure, it's Majima. Majima-san, you've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing, really. There's a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. You got a security word. I appreciate it, lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. Huh? huh? What's wrong, scamp? I told you I'd take care of the dolls, but 
Please don't be mad at me. Why well, would be mad at you? It, it ain't your fault. The only one sweated. But listen, even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. It's 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 heart still beating, and I can't feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof. Uh, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> You're right. When Bun when Bunchen got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. It looks pretty happy about about that, if you ask me. Really? I'm going to fix him up and keep him safe then. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Yep, I'm just happy to be of help. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. I guess. Hey, you with the eye patch. Hey, huh? give me your money. What? Are you trying to shake me down? Guess I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. You're famous? Can I get your autograph? Write my name on it too. Naoya Kawahashi. Lay money shakedown. So you can brag to folks back home you met the famous, uh, met someone famous you never even heard of. Don't you laugh at me? You don't know who I am either. My crew is 25 guys, 25,000 guys strong, so you better show some respect. Cool story, bro, but if it were true, your little gang could rival the Dojo clan in size. I ain't buying it. I'm not lying. I've got a real reputation back home. Alright, if you say so. So, why are you here on your own? We have our 24,999 <laughs> guys run out of gas on the way. I'm a lone wolf, that's all. A lone wolf, 25,000 friends uh, to comfort you when you get a little lonely. What's with all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun, but I need cash for that, you know? What? You didn't bring any money. <laughs> what? Why do that? Well, there's plenty out uh, uh, of it here. So you're just a kid from the sticks who comes to the city for a good time, and you're beating folks up for play money. You picked on the wrong s uh, city, s uh, city slicker, though your little, your little certain boring grand circle door is over. You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me. <laughs> Oh, 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 Majima, get up. I don't have any healing item, I don't think about it. Do I have healing items? I do, okay, I have some. We need a significant health boost. God damn. Come here. I didn't have much money anyways. <coughs> Holy smokes, stupid strong! Thanks, loser! Uh -huh. Damn it, I busted my ass on that uh -huh. money. What do I care? <laughs> if you want it back, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Now, where should I spend your hard-earned cash? At pachinko? 
Pachinko Palo. Or maybe I should treat myself to some sweet time with some sweet ass at the cabaret. Hmm, enjoy the money, prick. My precious mula, I can't let this slide. I gotta beef up and get back at, uh, get it back from him with interest. Yeah, we got properly whooped out of Majima. It's fine. Good morning, sir. And again, thank you for managing to strike a deal with Odyssey yesterday. Just doing my job. Now, it's up to you guys to keep this place on the upswing. Still, that was quite a surprise to wake up to. Why didn't you tell me to gather, uh, we, tell, tell me two our girls for coming besides Nozomi? Two what now? Sure, neither one uh, is at the zombies alone, but they're both veterans and fantastic draws for the club. With any luck, they'll bring all their old regular trade to us. We gave, uh, gave up some of our old girls the trade, but there's no denying we came out on top here. Last night's negotiations must have been something to behold. Well, I did a fair bit of research beforehand. Long, long as you get a little dirt under your belt, uh, you can pretty much wing the rest. That may be true for you, sir. It's no wonder they call you the Lord of the Night. <laughs> Looks like my little talk with Yamagata went better and than I thought. Probably could, could stick it to him even harder, though. G uh, get, a, get a few more girls out of him. I guess I could have done more research or given the club a better look to get a few more cards in my hand to play with. No sense worrying about it now, though. Now, if this is a good time, I'd like to work out the new shit schedule. Sure.支配人、お電話です。あの、オーナーだって言ってるんですけど。分かった。何の用や。お疲れさん。お前ちょっと今から出られないか。な。いやさ、お前と飲みたくなってよ。どういう風の吹き回しや。あいにく。あんたと酒飲むくらいなら自分のしょんべん飲む方がまだマシ。やめとけ。あんまりうまいもんじゃねえぞあれは。店は明日の連中に任せとけば一日ぐらいはなんとかなんだろう。俺は明日ば公園で
Yes, it was it was good food and I will be back. Definitely. <laughs> My daughter, please let my Yori go. Mm -hmm. Eh? What's all this? Let her go? Your daughter's with us, or of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. You people duped my daughter into joining you, you fanatics! Disciple of the new order. If you persist in your venomous blasphemy, I am afraid the sister Yori will have to serve atonement for the sins of her mother. Atonement? Our adherence to pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful, but it, uh, uh, it is at times a necessary evil. Now, would you please let us be? That's weird. <sighs> Yori, what am I going to do? Hey, Yori, what am I going to do? Oi! Oi. I couldn't help but over here you're going giving a lip to those pajama clad screwballs. Something up? Pardon me? And and you are? Nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument and I want to make sure you weren't in any danger. So you're just passing by? You're not one of them? That that cult? Mm -hmm. Cult? Mm. Yes, those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter Yori. What do you mean? Took? So, you're saying your daughter got swept up in the pajama party and hasn't come home since? Yes, I don't know who to turn to anymore. How old's your John? She's 20. Just a college student. 20, hey. She's ripe for the picking then. Girls her age are looking for freedom and they must have had it on offer. But Yori isn't like that, she's been duped by those people. By that cult. You sure they're a cult? Not just a bunch of cooks in pajamas. Yes, I didn't know anything was wrong until I got a call from school saying Yuri was missing classes. But she left home every morning, so I followed her one day, and that, that's when I saw her going into that cult building. When Yuri came home, I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following her, she said, What perfect timing. You should join the order, too. Hmm. I've never seen my daughter so. vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes whenever she talks about this new obsession of hers. I'm sure they've done something to her. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needs to get out of this cult. But she ain't exactly listening to reason, is she? Right. The next day, the cultists just showed up and took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. <sighs> I gotcha. I've gone to see them many times, pleading to see Mayori, but they always turn me away the door. I just recently lost my husband. If I were to lose my poor daughter now, her daughter's caught in some weird cult and she can't even see her. That ain't right. Um, Majima-san, was it? May I please make a request? Go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one anyway. If it's something reasonable, maybe I can help. Um, would you mind joining that cult for me? <laughs> you want me to join them? What part of that is reasonable? Well, only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass these doors. I get it. Since they don't know me, I can I can join them and gain entry with no fuss. It sounds logical, but... You must think I'm insane for asking you to do this, but... We only just met, but I want my daughter back. Hmm... Majima-san, please. Please help me. I will of course provide a reward of some sort, if you could even just tell Yori that I want her to come home. Even that will do, please. Can't say no now. True. <sighs> well, can't very, uh, can't, uh, can't very well say no now, can I? But all I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. You will? Oh, thank you. Majima-san, please be careful. There's no telling what the order of Munan showed on us is capable of. Moon cha 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 what now? The order of Moon Cho honest. You must learn their name. If you can't even get that much right, those goodness will never distrust you. Uh right. Odd name for religion, though. <laughs> anyway, don't you worry. I got this. I'll snake my way in, make contact with Yorichan and then snake my way out. Thank you. Please take this, Pajima san. Received a handmade amulet. 
what's this? It's just a little charm I made to ward off evil. I think you may need it, Majima-san, for protection. <laughs> I hope it really works. Please, please find my daughter, Yori. You can wait, my dear owner. There is a bigger thing, there is a bigger fish to fry. Those pajama freaks are uh, in the cult that Yori-chan joined. I gotta join them um, to help her mom. Hi, excuse me. Yes? Do you seek something from us? To meet Yori-chan, I gotta get into this cult. So first, I gotta act like I really wanna join. Uh-oh. You helped. No. I want to join the Order of Moon and Chohept on us. Ah! You have come to embrace the divine magnificence of Moon and Chohept on us. Do you, do you wish to become chosen? Yeah. Absolutely I do. Moon and Chohept is where it's at. <laughs> Glory be. I can see you will be a most excellent disciple already. Right this way, please. Alright. Where did they come up with this shit anyway? <laughs> Thank you for committing yourself to our path. May I have your name, please? Uh. I'm Majima, Goro Majima. Ah, brother Majima, honest for informing me. Now, let's have you... Whoa, hold up a sec, you just threw that psycho bubble at me like I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh, honest is a word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. Ah, we already have a word for that, but honest to you too. And I was going to say, brother Majima, we will have you observe a portion of our activities today. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to observe our doctrine. There will be a test at the end of a, or as a measure of your faith. At least in any of the pop quiz. Gotcha. Well, shall we be... Help! Help me! Help! Oi. Oi. What's all the racket? Apologies, brother. He's a debaser. Oh, not again. You must be more careful. We have a new recruit of us here today. Yes, I will call for a chastening. Ch 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 chastening? No, not that. Not a chastening. Have mercy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. That guy's get shitless. I don't know what's going on, but maybe you could ease, uh, ease up on him. Your concerns are unfounded, brother Majima. That poor soul is wracked by episodic outbursts of manic behavior. Outbursts, eh? Come, this way. No, I want to go home. Please, pay no heed. Let us continue. Hmm. That is pretty weird. Whoa, what do we got here? This is a prayer room. It is where we practice Shure Pee Pee. What? Hold up, you slipped that sure a pee pee thing, is, uh, <laughs> thing in as if it were the most natural thing in the world, was it? it? Ah, but it is! Sure a pee pee is training to attain higher enlightenment on the path of Moon and Chohop Thomas. Okay, sure pee pee is training. Those engaged in Shure PP here are our latest recruits as a, as a collective. We refer to each other as friends. Latest recruits, eh? That lady's lost daughter, Yori chan, could be doing the Shure Pipi thing right here. Shure Pipi gives them focus. Though concentration, through concentration, they accumulate kulipi, Kulipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? What's Kulipas? Well, to put it in a lime, layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. As we accumulate Kulipas, the divine moon and Johab shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. this is getting so old so fast. Oh, Sister Yori-chan, Yori-san, you, you must sway more. Proper Shurek Pipi is the path to enlightenment. <laughs> yes, honest for your benevolent guidance. Did he just call her Yori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry, I need a minute to help her steer, uh, to help steer our friends towards the path of the just. Bravo Majima, please feel free to observe. Don't mind if I do. Here's my chance to see if that friend is our girl, Yori-chan. No. Hey, sister. Sister. That, that guy called you a Yori, right? 
Ignore me, huh? I guess she wants to concentrate on her sure pee pee thing. <laughs> but I gotta see if this girl's really Yori chan. What what will I say to her? Crack a dumb pump, call her Yori, claim to be Moon and <laughs> Maybe if I name drop their code, she'll be open to listening. Both we'll try. Moon Chopta am I mortal? I can't go increase. What blasphemy? How dare you take the blessed name of our master? The great moon and your hept. Whoa, she totally seems still. Finally got your attention. You're Yori-chan, ain't ya? What? How do you know my name? Bam, this girl's that lady's missing daughter. Yori-chan, listen up, I got a message from your mom. My... mom? Yeah, she asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. Ma... mother... 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 What the? Yori-chan? Uh, mother, my head, it hurts. Oh. Hey, what's wrong? Step out of it. My brother Majima, what is going on here? You must not disturb our disciples and Shura Pee Pee. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. My bad. Sister Yuri son, are you well? Mm. I yes, I think so. Brother Majima, please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to attain spiritual purity. Oh, Say what? Purging mm. memories? Yes, as a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process so that they may better dedicate themselves to Shura Pee Pee. But that's... Ahem. My friends, I ask for your attention. Today, our guru has come to inspire us in a climb toward even higher states of enlightenment through Shura Pee Pee. Oh! Friends, our spiritual leader, Guru Manan Suzuki. Uh huh. My disciples. My disciples. Let's go there. Munancho. Uh huh. You too, Bravo Majima. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 the, the hell is Moon Nacho? Moon Nacho is a word of greeting. Incidentally, a word for farewell is Hepton. Bravo Majima. Please. Yeah, let's, let's say it with the pose. This is horrible. Nicely done! Two spirit points awarded. Huh? Okay. Glory be, a most splendid greeting, our savior and master, Munan Choept, is most pleased. Oh, I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. This, this is actually kind of impressive. So, friends, tell me, how much difference have you all contributed to the exalted Munan Choept? I have contributed five Rincho. I have done better at eight Rincho. Difference is what we call a tithe. Ah, okay, I was just about to ask, so how much is a Rincho worth? One Rincho is 100k yen. A 100 yen yen? These disciples are kicking up that much t uh, to the uh, order? Hey. It is all process to greater enlightenment and joy. When one is bound by chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing possessions is the first step to the rapture. No matter how funny it is, I would be okay if it made people feel better, but damn. They're just straight up stealing from those suckers. <laughs> Ah, so much difference. Glory be honest, my friends. Oh, sister, Yori-san, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hi. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Honest for your kind concern, Guru. Yes, incidentally, Yori-san, how much difference have you tendered towards your enlightenment? I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? A false friend? Such shameful lack of fame. I beg for your forgiveness. Shame. But friends, do not chastise us, sister Yori son. We'll have worldly excuses that face down. Guru Mulan Suzuki. You must understand, difference is a name. Especially valued form of Shura PP. If you alone are lacking in Rincho, Sister Yorisan, your Kulipas will be stunted. Oh no, what can I do? Uh, 
Differences in donations. Sure, PP is some kind of meditation, and Kulips, uh, Kulipas is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep this gibberish straight. Sister Yuri-san, I am happy to observe that you are blessed with divine physicality and transcendental beauty. In catching a special Shura PP with me can put things to, things to right. Special Shura PP? Guru, is it, it is an honor. Oh god, he, he's gonna... Oh, that's horrible. The most sacred form of Shura PP it bestows enormous glippas. We shall experience it together shortly. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. This guy is a shithead. I shall, Guru. Hapton, friends, please continue with your Shura PP. On us. Where's Yorichan Yuri gone to? I know not the details, but it is among the most sacred of Shura Pipi. The disciple becomes as one body and soul with our Guru. Becomes as one, eh? It is a special Shura Pipi allowed only to women and even among them, only to the chosen. If I were not a man, I would I, I, I wish I could partake it in it in its in its grand glory. This bogus guru not only serves any money but he's got his pick of the girls. How do his pajama twits not not get wise to this not get wise to this scam? Her mom only wanted me to get a message to Yorichan, so I'm technically done with what I promised to do. But now you're a in real danger, so screw it, I'm extending my flame membership. Your thought is over, brother Majima. It is time for your test. My test. Hold your damn horses, I ain't got time I ain't got time right now. Are you sure? By demonstrating you have learned the ways of your of the order, you may earn a blessing in in person from the guru. Say what? You mean I can meet the old guru if I do good on your test? You're, you're on then. Very well, it will be a simple oral exam. A quiz, really. To determine how attentive you were during your tour. For sure. The first question then. In the order of Munan Kohepton asked, what do we say to express our gratitude? <laughs> Molte grazie. <laughs> Honest. Honest! Splendid! Woo! <laughs> Correct, Majim, brother Majima. You have learned from a tour. <laughs> Piece of cake. You'll have to do better than that. Your second question. What do we call the training we undergo to accumulate Kulipas? Shure Popo. Poopo. Shure Popo. Shure Pipi. Wonderful. Correct. You have practiced proper Shura PP even during your brief tour. Very impressive. <laughs> For sure, I'm the Shura PP king. <laughs> in the third question, Munanchu is a greeting in the order of Munan Shohaptonas. Please demonstrate it. Textbook example of Munancho. <laughs> I got the moves. Very well. The final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Uh oh. Munan Suzuki, right? Woo! Bravo! Correct! Perhaps it was too easy a question. You think? He's uh, larger than life. With that, we are done. Your test is at an end. Splendidly done, Bravo Majima. You scored a perfect 4 out of 4. It speaks to your attentiveness during your tour. Someone of your caliber may even qualify as a leadership candidate. Heh, <laughs> Modern Majima's got a nice ring to it. Bravo Majima, I can find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our Guru's benediction in person. Follow me, I will show it to our Guru's quarters. I hope your chance to okay. Eee. Hope so too. Guru Munan Suzuki, please excuse us. Ah, is that our new friend candidate? What was it now? It's Bravo Majima. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Bravo Majima is a rare find, an extraordinary individual. Guru, he is a most worthy of your divine benediction. I see. That is. Mu ah, I see. That is music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste any time. There, you have my blessing.
you got some crystal. You call the stuff your blessing? Is that a problem? No, I suppose not. Guru, excuse me. Ah, Yori-san. You have readied yourself for Shure PP? Shure. Hey. Yes, Guru. I have cleansed myself thoroughly. I am vessel for your special Shure PP. Excellent. Since I already performed your bened since I already performed your benediction, both of you should leave at once. Hepton. Alright, end of the road. If I don't stop this now, this Shure PP Pisan's gonna have his way with Yorichan. Sure, pure means that. <laughs> Yorichan, forget this granola guru. How about you just shoot people with me instead? I beg your pardon? Would shoot people with you add to my kulapas? Uh, it might not do anything with your kulapas, but then there is no need. Brava Majima, what is the meaning of this outpost? Exit my chamber at once. Uh, what was I thinking? That made me sound just like this Kuru gun. <laughs> that is true. I'll just go with this. Yori-chan, you're being conned. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. M mom? <laughs> who, who is mom? My head, it hurts. You can't forget your mother, Yori-chan. This might have messed with your memory, but you gotta remember, the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima son! Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Shut your face, you damn phony. Yuri-chan, snap out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. What, what is mom? Ah. <gasps> this... That's... My mother's amulet. Yuri-chan? Do you remember now? Uh, I I don't know, but why did I ever think I want to become one of these shady old hippie? Your thing is right now, at least. Oh, this woman was ripened. Mine for the plucking. How dare you in the rear? Hmm? Guru Mulan Suzuki? See, there's your snake or shilling fraud showing his true colors. Guru Pajama Pants has been milking all of you. Silence! Fascinating. There you go, eat shit, motherfucker. Come here. Ouch, okay. He's a slippery one. What the fuck is he doing? Oh my god, I'm so... Oh my god. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Cut the sky. The slippery one isn't here. Oh, you had behind me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, shit. I think I got 7 billion. <clears throat> oh, such pain! 
How many broken bones do I have? Ah. Guru, we heard terrible noises. Is everything all right? Friends, quickly! You must call me an ambulance. Our Guru is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him. Everyone, Muran. Ah, no, you dipshits! Waving your hands around at me won't fix anything. Well, you. This is this is the cult you made. Somebody help me! I was like that too, wasn't I? Yori chan, we should get you home. Right. That guy almost kicked my ass. Yori? Mom! Are you done with that crazy religion? Mm. Yes, I'm over it. Mom, I. I want to bring that back. What? Ever since that died, you haven't stopped crying. But there was nothing I could do for you. That's when they told me that that could be brought back to life. I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spirit points. I should have known for how insane it was. I guess I just got caught up in that cold scam. So, that's why. But I know now but that I followed these, those terrible people. I'll be leaving you all alone, and that's even worse. I'm so sorry. No, oh, it should be the one saying sorry, Yori. I didn't know how much anguish I was causing you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Why, my son? I only asked you to deliver a message, but you got my daughter back. I can never thank you enough. No problem at all. I would say I got a pretty spiritual experience out of it, too. Majima san, please take this as our thanks. It it seems hardly of any value for all, but uh, for all you did for us, though, you gotta travel as amulet. Yeah. Oh right, Yorichan, I gotta give you, uh, I gotta give this to you. You hand over the handmade amulet. <laughs> that this, it's mom's. <laughs> the amulet totally worked, you know. After all, you got some free pajamas out of it, Yorichan. You hold, you you hold on to that amulet and let it protect you and your mom. Protect you, yeah, you and your mom. Uh, keep the family together, will ya? Hey. I, I will. Majima-san. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What's up? Thank you. You saved us. <laughs> it's all good. I am happy to be of help. However, I am fucking dying. <laughs> Is there anywhere to eat? I'll be right back after this short commercial break. この犬のとこに呼び出して何の用や。そう構えるなって。お前と飲みたいだけって言ったじゃねえか。ほら、座れよ。何にせよまずは一杯やってからだ。I I I don't think can you not tell that Majima doesn't want to do anything with you? Doesn't want to あの、ちょっと、ただのちょっと、エニフィグリーブユ。こっちにも適当に見繕ってって。え。こんなご時世だ。10万するフグの買い過ぎだの。100g1万の松坂牛だのなんだの。竹もう荒かったくってけど。こ
なんだよ最初の一杯きり全然飲んでねえじゃねえかあんたが横におって気持ちを飲めるかおわお<笑>もう2年にもなるかお前との付き合いもなのにそういう反抗的なとこは変わらない I mean, can you blame him? 島の兄弟がなんでお前みたいなやつを生かしておいてるんだか<笑>まあわけわかんねえよな極道の世界で親に逆らったやつは必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ波紋絶縁その辺ならまだいいがひでえ時には人知れずなぶり殺しにされることもあるあはお前は穴ぐらいきっていうその最悪のケースを踏んじまったはずなんだだが穴ぐらでの拷問に1年間も耐え抜いたお前を島野はあそこから出した耐えたお前のたくさんも信じられねえけど何より一度穴ぐらに落としたやつをあの島野が救うとはなだが島野がお前を許したかといえばそうでもない穴ぐらから出たお前は波紋も絶縁もされずに極道の世界から追放されたそして大門違いの兄弟分である俺にお前を預け敵として飼うように指示をした武闘派と呼ばれる島野がなんでそんなに回りくどいことをしているのか奴の目的は一体何だろうなさあ俺が聞きたいくらい<笑>案外理由は単純でただ単にお前のケツの味が忘れられないだけなのかもしれねえな<笑>なんだよつまんねえやつだなそうだ一つお前に聞いてみたかったんだ What is it? なんでお前そんなに登場会に戻りてんだお前みてえな跳ね返りがこんなバスに耐え続けてまで西島タイガーだっけかお前が登場会にいた時の兄弟分だっけそいつのためって言ってたよなジュー人殺しの西島タイガーか当時は大騒ぎになったもんだ登場会と敵対していた地元組織上野清和会の会合に単身襲撃結果相手組員18人を射殺したんだからよ登場会に行ける伝説こっちでも随分話題になったはいけどその西島も今や無所の中18人もやったあとは死刑判決を待つだけだろうなのにお前はそいつのために登場会への復帰を望んでいるそこがわかんねえんだ兄弟は塀の中で死ぬようなたまやないあいつは必ず戻ってくる俺を殺しにな殺しにあなんでもないもう過去の話やとにかく俺はどんな目に遭おうがどんな屈辱に遭おうが登場会でのし上がらなあかんねえほうなるほどねそうやって帰ってくるはずもない兄弟分の帰りを待ち続けてるってわけか登場会に戻って佐江島が戻ってきた時の席を用意する必要があるっつ<笑>泣ける話じゃねえか<笑>あんたには関係あらへん<笑> Good, my Jima. Good. まあ俺も大門違いとはいえ島野の兄弟には仲良くさせてもらってるからなでもまあ俺だったら自分の人生の全てを捨ててまで他人のために生きる道を選択する気にはなれねえなお前もいい大人なんだもっと器用に立ち回ってもいいんじゃないのかうんまあいいやお前が俺に言われて素直に入って言わない男なら上がってるじゃあお望みの本題に入ろうかいやお前人を一人殺せるか殺しあ
そうだなんで俺がそないのことを言ったじゃねえか極道に戻れるなら何でもやるってよ違うのかあああそないなことせんでも俺は店の売り上げあと5億あげて極道に戻るオデッセイから望みを引き抜いてかもう知っとんのかけどさもし俺がオデッセイに連絡すりゃその話今からでもなかったことにできるんだよなんやと<笑>まあつまりお前の未来は俺の手の中にあるってことだ。God, let's come back. 金儲けさせた上に人殺しまで手伝いっちゅうか。どっちも大事なことなんだよ。俺にとっても、お前にとっても。OK。Give us details. やればいいんよ。マキムラマコト。マコト。聞いたことないから。You can say F. 知らないか最近、ソーテンボリで荒稼ぎしている売春組織の元締めだ。ああ、一マキムラはそこらの女子大生やら若い女を捕まえては稼がせて、その上がりを吸い上げてる。その上、組織から逃げ出そうもんなら、見せしめに赤ん坊の埋めねえ体にされるってよ。What the fuck? 相手がクズでよかったな。やりやすくなっただろう。その牧村って男はどこにおるんそれを調べるのも仕事のうちだ牧村は女たちにテレクラで男を釣らせてる探るんなら末端の女どもから当たるのがいいだろうええテレクラで牧村の息のかかった女を探すっちゅうことか仕事の期限は2日だそれまでに的を仕留めろもしそれを超えた場合、今度はお前が狙われる立場になる。いいな。そら楽しみだな。いや、オッケー。方法はお前に任せる。仕事を終えたら、この番号へかけろ。わかった。真面目じゃん。最後に確認しとくぞ。いや。殺しに人数や相手は関係ねえ。一人殺そうが、十八人殺そうが、成人を殺そうが、クズを殺そうが、人殺しは人殺し。やった瞬間、まっとうな人生には二度と戻れなくなる。街を歩こうが、家にいようが、人を殺したっていう記憶が頭から離れなくなる。極道の先輩として忠告しておくけど、殺しなんてやらないで済むならそのほうがいい。Thanks. 当たり前だよな。I guess. でもお前はてめえの目的のために見ず知らずの誰かを殺せるかうるさいわどっちみち人の一人殺せんやつは極道として犯人前ややったるわそうかごちそうさんこいつの分もこれであとは好きに飲んでくれあガンもうまいぞ食っとけ<笑>じゃあ頼んだよ。わお、マキムラ、マコト。Interesting. Damn. This guy is milking Majima for every cent. This is a good thing. My big chance to get back to the Yakuza life. I still got time. Absolutely, the worst thing I can do is rush and screw it up. I'll start tomorrow. Do it right. Tonight, I just need to get to bed. I agree. Let's get to bed. We're slightly drunk. Oh no, what is it? Also, somewhere here is a card. Ah, I see it. God damn it. Hey, I thought. Do I gotta drain the tank? Ah, sure, I guess. Better now than later. Well, the stolen thing is actually the model of cleanliness. The walls are covered with graffiti, most of it gutted talk at best. Pretty sorry state of affairs. Huh? Some of this graffiti is done up in some real pretty handwriting. I'm very lonely, please reply. <laughs> <laughs> Only a lady has handwriting this pretty. Who could have wrote this? And what should I do? 
Oh my god, might as well. I'll chat with you if you want. There. That will do. I uh, ain't right for a person to be lonely. I <laughs> I must be not replying to some bathroom graffiti. You are, Majima. You are. They can wait. Hold up. You got the now Mizuki Type A card. Cool. Okay, let's see what this is about. Ready to go home soon? I want to play some more. Who are you? This guy's been staring at that moment boy this whole while. Man with a strange face. Excuse me, can you throw me my ball, please? Sure, got it. Oh no. Wait, please. Huh? huh? That the ball, M may I? Huh? What? Can I have a ball, please? Yeah, coming right up. Here goes. Thank you! Uh. Oh, what with this weirdo? Got pretty dejected all of a sudden. No, I'll talk to him later. I I'm not I'm not I I just wanna go home. I wanna I wanna relax and forget about all of this. Oh, oh another one. I be Awesome. Oh. Home sweet home. Nope. Rest until morning then. I'm ending Mokoto Makimura. Step one's finding the guy. Sakawa said to try hitting the telephone club. So girls in Makim Makimura's ring. Is it time to go make some calls? It is, but we will also save and end it here. When I find a telephone booth. Okay. This is going to be a wonderful point end that I was recording for a while. But, you know, I was just having fun. Anyways. Um... A lot of cool shit is happening, we did some fun side quests, and had as much story as I wanted to, but, you know, it happens. Can't, can't win them all. Uh, Sagawa said I should start by asking telephone club calls, try to see who's connected to Makimura, that's also as good a place to start as any. So yeah, if you're enjoying Mag Majima's story so far, please tell me what you think about it, with the whole thing of him being basically forced to kill someone just to, you know, get back into the life and you know what, what else you thought about like this crazy cult and stuff like that I'm, I, I want to hear all about it I always read your comments and I try to respond sometimes I don't really have much to say so I just don't but yeah anyways uh, hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe and comment down below and I will see you all in the next video bye bye